Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is a beautiful Thursday, well, afternoon at this point. It's about quarter after 12. I am heading to the UPS for the first time today to get one of my packages. Now I did put together, uh, I'll, I'll say a tactical type bag. You know, it's black, it's got moist on it so that you can put a bunch of other shit on it. And I've got little additions that I have, you know, put on there through the moly holes or straps, whatever. And it was, a, it was a pretty good bag and I used it a lot. However, comma, it has absolutely no padding whatsoever. So it is not good for carrying camera gear at all. And I would never put like my camera or a lens or anything in there like that. I thought to myself, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to get an insert. So I bought an insert. This is my long way of saying I bought a, a, like an insert that uh, is padded and can be reconfigured to however I want to carry my shit. But uh, that's the first thing that's coming in. Then uh, later today, I, I would imagine, I should be getting the little Falcam F22 quick release uh, thingamajiggers as well. And, you know, I'm going to have to really figure out what these damn things are all called because I kind of go thingies, thingamajiggers, and so on and so forth. So let me run in here and grab this damn thing, and then uh, we'll continue on with the day. I haven't done my day job stuff yet, even though I swore I was going to do it first thing in the morning, and I've done everything but, but who's surprised by that? Okay, here it is, me and the cat checking it out. This is the little insert that goes in here. It's not as wide as I'd hoped. It was a real bitch trying to find the correct size because you can see how much of a gap there is there. So I'm probably gonna get something like that, like McKinnon cube or whatever to put in there just so I have something else. For now, I've got this like empty 360, Insta360 thing that can go in there and I can throw some cables and shit that I don't want floating around free. But you know, here I can stick a camera in there um, some lenses or whatever I want to put in there. Not necessarily has to be camera gear, but I want that option. And then I can rearrange this as I need and, and kind of go from there. So that's it. N nothing big, but for now, that's the first package for today. Let's wait for the next one. All right. I am going to get the next package that showed up. And then when I looked at and tracked all of the other things that I've bought, some of them, like I got an email telling me that shit that was supposed to be delivered not tomorrow is now going to be delivered tomorrow. So I'm getting a bunch of shit tomorrow, yay! And then there's some stuff that I'm not getting until like the 9th of January. Like I bought I bought another couple pairs of pants from 5'11", and th I mean, it's taken like three, three and a half weeks to freaking be delivered. Like how ridiculous is that? So I'll have to wait on that. I have some other stuff that I think is coming on Saturday as well. So, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll get it when we get it. Most importantly, I need to probably go to, hopefully not, but quite possibly three or four different places to get some tres leches dessert because, damn it, this is my last raw and that's what I want. And I thought about it the other day and then just didn't have time to go out and get it. And I'm like, son of a bitch. So after I get this package, we're going in search of Tris Leges, so let's do that. Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is an unbelievably gorgeous, fantastic Friday morning. It's already 61 degrees out. As you can see, blue skies, sunny, birds chirping. My hair's all funky today. I look weird. So, for some reason, everything got delivered early today, and I'm going to go pick it up now. Look. See, it's still up. But, can you see that white line? So, doing that little fix did help with the fall cam thing. And clearly it's worked with the monkey because the monkey is up there. It is not falling down. So yay for the hanging monkey. Yay for the fall cam thing working. So thank you to everybody on the internets that showed heating up the suction cup because it did help. Because normally that thing would have fallen after a couple hours. Also, here you can see what I did. Whereas I put that fall cam quick release clamp on the cheese plate and I had to flip the cheese plate in order to be able to screw up from the other side 
into that and hold it on there. And then I just refelt that. Then I just re velcroed it down. So those two projects went well. Yeah, we're going to the UPS store now to pick up packages. I got like a ton of stuff in. And she even got something that says that it's delivered. So we're gonna check that out too. I didn't get a lot of sleep because I did my day job stuff. And I was doing day job stuff until late. Well, later, because normally, you know, I always try to be done and downstairs by eight. So I was doing all my updates, but I had to go through every store and configure like a date chart to show when I was there over the past, you know, three months so that it was easier for me to go in and just do the update. And then I just made a generic update for all of them. And some of them I put extra notes in, but I'm sure you give a shit. The bottom line is, is that it took me forever because I had 52 stores I had to update for three months worth of visits. I was not done by the time it was gonna be time for tea and dessert. Yesterday, I went out in search of Tres Leches dessert because for some reason I got it in my head and then I was like, shit, so for three days I wanted Tres Leches and I never had the opportunity to go get it. Yesterday, I drove around, end up only having to go to two places before I found some. So I was like, all right, if I do this, this is going to take me forever, in which case we won't be having tea and dessert. And, you know, I only have a couple more days of doing that. So I'm like, fuck it. I said, go ahead and make the tea and we'll have the dessert and everything. And then when I'm done, I'll go back upstairs and I'll just keep working until I'm done. And it took me until a little after 930 before I finally finished all of my updates. So now that means that I am completely caught up. It's 10 after 11 right now. My day's all like screwed up because I was gonna like grab my cameras and shit after this and go out and go into the woods. I wasn't expecting all this stuff to get delivered. I figured I would just get them on the way back. Then for the 100th time, I shockingly remembered, I have a freaking dentist appointment today at like two, a little bit after two. So that completely, literally cuts my day in half. And you know, I gotta dick around with that. So by the time I'm done at the dentist, in all likelihood, it might be pushing the limits of, of too late to go out into the woods and take pictures. So at this point right now, before the appointment, I'm going to go back home and I'm going to probably hang the TV in the garage because I should be able to do that with no problem. I don't have to find studs and everything. I already found them all uh, when I hung up all the paneling. So now I just have to find the right spot and the right height and all that shit and get that stuff hung. So, uh, woman's work is never done. All right, let's go get packages. Okay, kids, wow. Uh, so I went in and I grabbed packages and I thought, okay, what am I missing? It feels like there, there's not enough stuff here. And I saw like, I got a, had a big thing from her and I was like, wow, that's a pretty big package for a little pen, but okay. And then I came out to the, to the forerunner and I started cutting everything open because I wanted to see what I was missing. I'm like, I know I'm forgetting something. I know that there's something not here. So I realized that it was these little notebooks that weren't in any of the packages. And I was like, okay, I'll go back in. In the meantime, my phone rang and like something went to voicemail. And I was like, oh, I bet you that's him telling me that, that my notebooks are in. And then I walked in, I got the notebooks, plus he gave me her pin. So she got an extra package that she didn't know she was getting. We both got a lot of shit today. <laughs> this is one of them. This is my new Stetson hat. The other hat that I had made up, uh, the Bolero hat, it was too small. And I've had it on a stretcher and it, you know, I mean, it stretches out for when I put it on kind of, and then it immediately goes back. So I ended up getting the Stetson hat and I'm gonna have to switch my, my uh, silver feather and my skull pin, which is what this matches. So, uh, you know, that's why I got this because it matches that, that pin. And I intend to pretty much always be wearing a hat now and I wanted to get one that was comfortable. So this one is now comfortable because it's big enough to fit my fat head. It sits down a little bit lower the way I like it. Long story short, I got a new hat. I'm also still on the border about ordering the sunglasses from Clocks and Colors since they didn't have the ones that I wanted and that didn't realize that they not only had them in clear, but they had them with black. And I was like, oh, I'll get those instead. Cool, I'd like that, I prefer that. And then pff, denied, out of stock, they sold out. And I'm like, son of a bitch. So the only one that they had available was gold. It had gold instead of silver. And I'm like, nah, I am not a gold person. Yellow gold, that is. Can't do it. 
my queen went onto the site and she's like, well, what about these? You'd look really good in these. And then what was neat was that on my phone, they had a little thing that you could virtually try them on. And it is by far the best virtual try on component that I've ever used before. Like it literally, like you can tap on it and go through all their sunglasses and they literally look like they're on your, on your head. It was awesome. So I was like, oh, okay, well maybe I'll get those. Now in the past, what I've done, it seems like every time I buy something from Clocks and Colors, like the next week it goes on sale. Also, if I put something in the cart and I forget about it and I don't get it right away, usually by the end of the day or the next day, I get an email saying, hey, you know, you kind of left this in your cart. If you're still thinking about it, here's an additional discount. And I was like, all right. So I tried to be dumb as a fox and I put the sunglasses in my cart. And then my wife had also seen something that she liked. And I suggested put it in your cart, but don't get it right now. And then let's just see if they send us a, a discount code or whatever. They didn't. And that's because everything's on year end clearance now. So I'm probably just going to go. And then that will be the last thing I buy this year. And, and then again, next year, I'm not buying anything short of having a catastrophic failure or loss. Not buying anything. I can't because this year I was out of control and, and I'm done with that shit because it's stressing me out. So yeah, so I'm probably gonna go back, get those sunglasses, and then that will be the last purchase of, of 2022 and, and my last purchase for a long time. For now, I'm gonna go home, go through all this shit. Well, what else did I get? I guess I can tell you that. I got like a five pack of that Instax wide film. I also got a pair of wired headphones because the, the shitty Samsung ones that came with one of my phones from a long time ago, they suck. And when I'm listening to shit, or if like if I try to finish editing and I go downstairs and I'm sitting in the living room, I put those on and they're horrible. So I, you know, like I got a hopefully decent ones off of Amazon again. So yes, film and the headphones, the hat and than the uh, the mount, the wall mount for the TV. So we're gonna go deal with all that shit now because again, now it's 1125. I'm not gonna have time to go out into the woods without feeling rushed and then going to the dentist. So I'll probably just take my cameras with me and then after the dentist, I'll just go right to Pleasure House Point because I'll already be more than halfway there. So that's the plan. Let's do it. Uh, okay, so belly is full now. We went, well, I went and got us burgers for dinner. And I ate my entire Blue Bayou burger with a lot of fries. So I just wanted to show you, this is the new Venetian blinds that I got today. Here's what I like about them. Watch this. Ta-da! That's all you got to do. You literally just have, you know, I'm barely touching these and I'm lifting them and they just go up. Then all you got to do is just gently pull it down. And now it's closed. No cords. And then spin that some bit shut. And it didn't take me that long to do. I had to remove the old stuff. Uh, not much of it because obviously when I pulled it this morning, the whole thing fell down, but I was able to uh, get the other things that were holding up the old one out pretty easily. All right, 
my belly is just so full that all the blood is there and I can't think. It has been a whirlwind couple of days and I'm done. I had to get up off the couch because I was falling asleep. I'm washing all the rugs, the little rug things that we have in the kitchen because this morning an egg fell off the counter and smushed on it and it just gave me the perfect opportunity to just wash them all. So that's going on right now. That's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.